For this problem, we're asked to graph an equation in the rectangular coordinate system. So we have the equation y is equal to 2 minus the absolute value of x. We'll select some values from x starting at negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. These are good numbers to start with, and if we need more numbers, we can always select more when we're done with these. So if x is negative 3, we're going to substitute negative 3 into our original equation for x. And the y value will equal 2 minus the absolute value of negative 3. And that's just 2 minus the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Therefore, that tells us when x is negative 3, y is negative 1, that's a coordinate on the graph. We're going to do that with these other values for x. So here we go. When x is negative 2, y equals 2 minus the absolute value of negative 2, which gives us 2 minus 2, or 0. Now when x is negative 1, again we substitute it in, we get 2 minus the absolute value of negative 1, which is just 2 minus 1, or 1. Now when x is 0, y equals 2 minus the absolute value of 0, which is just 2 minus 0, or 2. When x is 1, we get 2 minus the absolute value of 1, which is just 2 minus 1, which is 1. When x is 2, we get y equals 2 minus the absolute value of 2, which is just 2 minus 2, or 0. And finally, when x is 3, we get y equals 2 minus the absolute value of 3, which is just 2 minus 3, or negative 1. Now it's going to make a lot more sense when we plot these ordered pairs. So let's start at the top. When x is negative 3, our y coordinate was negative 1. So we have 1, 2, 3, negative 3, negative 1 right about here. The next coordinate, when x is negative 2, y is 0. So we plot negative 2, 0. When x is negative 1, y is 1. So we go negative 1, 1. When x is 0, y is 2. So 0, 2. When x equals 1, the y coordinate is 1. When x equals 2, the y coordinate is 0. And finally, when x equals 3, the y coordinate is negative 1. And we know an absolute value equation has a V shape. And this is the graph of the equation y is equal to 2 minus the absolute value of x.